All right, guys, welcome back to some more Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. Uh, I was It was brought to my attention in the comments of the last episode that um, you can actually find guns and stuff by going around and like exploring some of these. So when I was going around exploring some of these before, it was kind of just like resources, but people are saying that you can get like weapons. So I was gonna go and check out a couple of these POIs and see if that was true. I wanted to check this one that was right nearby. Uh, because so far the only guns that we've really been unlocking are the ones through the story. We've got we've gotten quite a few guns through the story. Um, but yeah, there is quite a few guns in the game, and I don't know exactly how to get them all. <coughs> so, how is everybody doing today? I appreciate you all again for coming and hanging out. And uh, I've been really, really enjoying this game. And I think this might be up on top of the mountain here. Yep, of course it is. I don't know if we get in here from this backside. Let's, let's see. Now, I did have one question. Um, are you able to go back to the other region? Or because I left that region already, like the, the first area, like you can't go back? <clears throat> Leoric Semper Five, brother, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's another way to climb here. Yep, right here. There it is. So we just gotta, we just gotta <clears throat> scale this big ass mountain, chat. <sighs> All right. Yeah. So this area has some resources in it. I'll go check that other spot. Damn, what happened to homie here? Uh, no emotions. What's going on, man? I hope you're having a good day. No work today. That's always a good time, right? Christ, okay. I need to switch seats. So we walked into an ambush. They got a sniper over here. I don't know exactly where he is. The issue was I didn't see him. I don't know if he was up high or down low in the house somewhere. And now they're going to be taking cover. Obviously, I had good sight lines on me because they were shooting in a pretty straight line. Spread 
There he is. 100 meters. Got him. Right, sniper's down. Suppressing fire on enemy position. Oof. Still one more guy in here. He ran in through that door. We gotta make sure we don't take any reckless shots because there is civilians in here. It's precision. Good. Got complacent there. Yo, there's actually quite a bit of dudes here. Why would I shoot? I just saved you guys. How can I repay you? There it is, baby. There it is. And we actually got quite a bit of trade goods from that. That was a good fight. Definitely a good fight. Uh, I wanted to check that sniper and see what kind of rifle he had. Bro, how did <coughs> how did the bro get in there? CSC, how you doing? <coughs> there we go. Um, oh, nice. I don't think this is a gun I've had. Maybe it is. Because it didn't trigger as a new weapon, so I think we already had that one. All right, we got it, chat. We got it. All right, let's head back to base. Um, actually, you know what? Do I have any other hunts? No, I think I took out all the people in this area. Pass, POI. We're gonna go check out this outpost. Maybe, maybe you can get weapons from outposts. Right, we're gonna scout this area. Uh, damn, you know what? Actually, let me go. Let me go top off. We need more armor. We just got shredded, so I want. I definitely want to get. Um, want to get my armor going. Get my health back up. Hmm. So we can get camouflage. Drone camouflage reduces its visibility. Medium battery. Hacking. So let's actually swap this to hacking, and then we'll swap this to a medium-sized battery. 
And our drone now has night vision. All right, ammo wise, we're doing good. Armor wise, we're doing good. Our suppressor is good on this weapon. Suppressor's good on this weapon. Suppressor's good. All right, we're good to go. All right, now let's go check out this outpost here. Just start playing Dying Light 2. Yes, it's it's phenomenal, Capred. This game is long. Hey, I don't mind this game being long. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So this is a criminal outpost? Uh, so it's not a military spot. It's orange. So I can go in these areas as long as I don't kill anybody. We're cool. So that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for an outpost to straight up clear. Uh, the creator of Dragon Ball Z died? Damn. Definitely not what I expected to hear. So that's a neutral zone. So I'm just kind of trying to go around the map, see what these POIs are all about. Because uh, we really haven't checked a whole lot of them. Because uh, I thought they were just areas to get resources. So I'm trying to see if there's more... It's a high caliber rifle. Got him. He's got my body armor repaired and just got shredded, dude. <laughs> Absolutely shredded. So there was guards here. I don't know what they were guarding. Yeah, see, so it was just ammo and, and, and resources. So it does seem like most of the POIs are just places to gather resources. All right, cool.
Now let's go, uh, rearm. Reason, brother, one time for the GOAT. Um, Erika Toriyama, Dragon Ball Chains. Yeah, it really did. That that was my that was my uh, gateway anime. <laughs> Legit, I feel like DBZ was the gateway for a lot of people. Um, it, it 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 just it was special, man. It was my gateway, at least. I'm loving this game, Michael James. Oh, yeah. This game is fire. All right, here we go. So a JSOC operative requires sniper assistance to complete his, complete his mission. He'll be infiltrating an old mining facility. Cooperate with the agent and keep One him alive. One time for the GOAT Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball changed the world. Pierre. All right, let's see how this goes. So we got to provide sniper support for for a guy. It's too easy. Chance, what we do? At least they don't want us to do some infiltration. Is this an old game? It's an older game. I wouldn't say it's old. I think this game was released in 2017. So I'd consider it relatively modern. I, I my I, I consider pretty much any game after like 2016 and after to be relatively modern. Um, uh, it's definitely not next gen. You know, I would, next gen for me is like 2020 and up. But I would definitely say it's uh, it's it's a modern video game for sure. Am I playing Helldivers too? I'll be I'll be trying I'll be checking it out at some point, yeah. Got a guardian angel mission for you. Great. Could use a change of pace. Who am I covering? JSOC agent operating in the area for undisclosed reasons. He's not going to fuck us up, is he? Nah. He's infiltrating a mining facility to gather intel. Kids a bit green. First solo mission. Could use some backup. Yeah, we've all been there. Oh, I'm back in the... Sometimes seems like a hundred years ago. Maybe to you, old timer. Feels like I'm just getting started. That's cool. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, John. Just... All right, chat. So the missions can bring you back and forth to different areas. Give the kid a protective shield if he needs one. Get there, <coughs> find a proper nest, and keep him alive until he's finished. Out. Roger. Uh, 6193 asks, um, saying, glad they found my channel. Have I ever played any? I, so I played all of the three, mo the newer Tomb Raider games. Yeah, we played uh, all three of those on the channel. I have playlists for all of them. I like how my man drives with the rifle in his hand. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is my rifle. There are any like it, but this one is mine. I wonder if I could take this little camel trail. Do I get PTSD playing? Nah, nah. Um. There's moments where in like a game I'll hear like a bullet snap or something like that and the sound effect will be relatively real. It'll kind of get me to like do something like that, but no, I don't I don't really struggle with that kind of PTSD. Like the like combat wasn't my uh, my pain point. I didn't mind 
the fighting aspect. I didn't care about like the whole dying aspect. So that, uh, like I said, I, I talked to people about this before when it comes to like PTSD and, and, and people in the military is some people struggle with different things. Um, you know, some people do struggle with, you know, the death, uh, almost dying. Some people struggle with the combat, the fear. Um, uh, and me, I struggled more with the loss. That, that, that was what uh, I struggle with. But combat itself doesn't really trigger me at all. Get my blood boiling a little bit. Get me all amped up. But no, I don't, I don't like, like, you know, flash out like that. You might catch me like, like doing something like this, but no. But everybody, like I said, everybody has their own trigger. There's some guys that can go. They can, they can fight, you know. For years and years, and that shit doesn't phase them. There's some guys they go, they get in one firefight, and they're they're done. You know, they just can't deal with the. It just breaks them mentally. But no combat, yeah, it's never been a uh, pain point for me. I'm gonna see if we can get some eyes on this area from here. I don't want to push up. Okay, so I think there's a sniper up top there. Nope, it's a generator with a light. <laughs> I've seen the silhouette. I used to call my rifle squishy because they told me <laughs> my rifle could never lead my side. <laughs> Yo, did anybody else, you know, one of the, the, one of the hardest things to adjust to people, any, any of you guys in the chat that are vets know this feeling all too well. Your first deployment, you go nine months, a year, however fucking long it is, you get back. And I feel like everybody has this moment and it's not right away. It's probably about a week after you get back, You're sitting there. You'd be in your barracks room or something, or you just, it, it's like random as fuck, right? You're just sitting there and all of a sudden you go like this. You start freaking the fuck out. You're like, oh my God, where's my rifle? <laughs> just absolutely lose your shit for like, your heart sinks. And you're like, oh my God, where's my fucking rifle? And you're like, oh yeah, it's in the armory. I turned it in. Because yeah, your whole deployment, you have your rifle with you everywhere. You bring it to you to the, the shitter. Like it, you never just don't have your rifle on you. And... Yeah, any any SI dude, you sit there, you fucking just freak out, dude. Abs oh my god, where's my rifle? And it's not like you needed to defend yourself. You're like, yo, did I lose my shit? It, 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 yeah, it just it really fucks with you. All right, so we got this area here. I see three targets, and that's about it. There's no way for me to take these shots though without. All right, I think we're just supposed to be playing Guardian Angel, though, so my job isn't to shoot anybody, right? The mine has an interesting history, John. It was built by the Soviets, officially as a coal facility. But off the books, it was what? According to CIA reports, Soviets found uranium deposits, mined them in secret. Uranium was pretty much depleted by the time Georgia became an independent state. The economics just weren't profitable on a commercial scale, so they closed it. Yeah, it looks like it's deteriorated ever since. Okay, so my uh, objective is to get up top here. Question is, can I drop the gate guard? Yeah, we can drop the gate guard. I got this. So what we're gonna do?
think I've heard something. I heard something. I think I've heard something. Got it. Have I ever had a live Q&A? Oh yeah, we've done them plenty of times. Um... Now, I mean, I haven't done one, and I've never, I actually, I've never really just, like, sat down and done, like, a gaming Q&A where people just come in and ask, like, a bunch of game questions. That'd actually be a pretty good idea, you know, like, come and ask me about games that I've played and, like, my thoughts, and we can maybe go over, like, gameplay and review. I've never done anything like that before. Um, definitely a cool concept, though. Ace Cut, if you don't know how to properly clear their weapons, because they never do, man. A lot of those high rank guys, they never clear, they never leave the fob, so they never go condition one. They don't know how to, con they don't have to clear their weapons. They just mock clear it when you enter the, the defect or the chow hall. Because anytime you go into the chow hall, they had the, the barrel, the little clearing barrels that you would clear your weapon at. Because um, nobody can go into the defect without doing that. Um, and most of them just go through the motions, you know what I mean? They don't really, really do it. Ah, great rain. Shit. Ready when you are. Do not engage. Wait for my marks and watch my position. I'll take care of this first guy. Watch my back. Okay, see, he's at about 200, so let's range out to about two. Or is that 250? That was easy. So we're ranged out to about 250 I'm right now. Forward. I have no eyes, dude. Take the guy up top. Two seventy. A lot of wind. Nice shot. I'm on the move. Remove that guy from my way. Wait until he's behind the pipes and then take him out. Copy. Wind changed pretty aggressively right there. Hurry up, man. Went from two two clicks over to one. I hear something. Careful. We have a bird inbound. Stay out of sight. Roger. Sniper here too. They realize nobody is answering their radios. Well, fuck. Shit. I have a hostile approaching from the south. Take him out. Holy shit, that was close. Nice shot. I'm on the move. I see the objective.
left, you take the right. Waiting for your sign. I'm taking fire! Downloading data. You better hurry up, pal. Let's let that sniper survive, dude. We can't have no competition in the AO. Uh, PS4. Oh, what? I was thought I was just reading. Somebody said PS4 copies of this are still pretty pricey. So that was a pretty easy mission, covering wise. Good, good, good chance to really flex our sniping too. <laughs> Ooh, Jason, I'm not gonna. Got a shitload of heavily encrypted intel. Some seriously important stuff. How important? Sorry, John. Damn, Robert is as elusive as that Armazi guy. I think we would have heard if Robert was dead. For now, he and Armazi, if he exists, are in the wind. Any good news? We know what the cisterns are transporting? Not yet. But we did confirm previous intel about a monster load of high-tech equipment smuggled into the region. Not sure where it's headed. Valer. Jesus, Raquel. Are you fucking everywhere? Everywhere I need to be. I managed to sleep around Lydia. And thank God I did. Interrogation of a few criminal conspirators led me to intel about where Vasilisk has smuggled the high-tech weapons. Which is where? I am missing two words here. Thank you. Quite right. The weapons are headed to an old abandoned military base in the mountains. Soviet era. Vasilisk calls it his lair. You really should put more faith in me, John. Out. Alright, so let's go ahead and we'll head back to base. I just got a new sniper rifle. Um, so let me see here. George, this game is pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, I, 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 I did not expect it to be like this, man. All right, so we got a new rifle. Uh, it is the ACC-50. Tons of damage. Uh, the firing rate, though. It's like, do I want to sacrifice all of these... Uh, I, mean, I wouldn't mind a 50 cal. You can't even suppress this bad boy. But we'll grab a 50 just to have a 50. You know what I mean? We'll grab it just to have it. You know, we're, we're, there, there might be a, a scenario that's going to come up where we're going to need a... A pretty hard hitting 50 cal or something like that. Let's see this damn thing. It is a monster. That's a gun right there, Joe. Holy crap. The only problem this is not suppressed. So shooting this bad boy. 26 times magnification. It's un unnecessary. Reach out and touch somebody with this damn thing, but we'll switch back to my uh, my 
my normal rifle for now. But we got that just in case we do need it. The Night 110 is, is more of like a... I guess you could say it's more of like a DMR style rifle than an actual full-blown sniper, but... That's what I'm thinking right now, Sanj. The, the, the firing rate, you know, missing that first shot, you know, and then you go ahead and you have to readjust, and it, I, I feel like that's way more important than uh, damage right now. Now, if we got to deal with guys that are super armored and shit, yeah, like... This is Big John. Go to the old Soviet base called the Lair. I think it's the location with all the answers. Robert? All clues point in that direction. It's the headquarters for Amazi and his crew. If Armazi doesn't have Robert, he knows who does. No one would hold back answers from a friend like Armazi. So we're close. So close, I can smell the gun oil. I'm tired, Frank. One last big push, right? There's a ton of high-tech gear that's been shipped in there. Find it, John. And find Robert. One way or another. God bless. Out. Okay, so we gotta reach the base and don't raise the alarm. So we got to keep this one quiet. <laughs> Shoot bad guys when they're in the shitter, dude. <laughs> but with the 50 cal, we can just shoot clean through the shitter, dude. Through the wall and everything with that damn thing. Explore in this game, yeah. There's POIs and shit you can go check out. For the most part, a lot of the POIs I've seen so far are um, like resources, like spots where you can gather resources for crafting and shit. Savage, I thought about going to PAX again this year. Um, me and the wife were talking about it, but uh, we, don't know. we got a lot going on, so we'll have to see. That's it. Christ, I'm impressed. No wonder foreign intelligence had trouble tracking that contraband. Yeah, the complicated plans have a way of fucking up. Can't control all the circumstances. <laughs> like surprise visitors dropping in the region and creating havoc? Yep, that would be us. I'm gonna get the drone up in the air and see if we can find a entr entry point. Picked up a 50 cal and Hitman Sniper. It comes with explosive rounds. It just absolutely insane. That's the thing, 50 cals are awesome. Um, I have a hard time finding the practicality. Oh, there's a hole in the wall right there near this tower. Get up in here, that's, that's our entry point right there, guys. Let's make it so. Uh, I have a hard time finding use for them though because they're so loud. Far Cry had a couple instances where 50 cows were nice because you could use, they were just so strong. Um, you could shoot through all the guys with armor, fucking one-tap vehicles and stuff. Yeah. 
So we got a bunch of looks like workers here. Let's get the drone up again. We'll do some scouting. So these are all civilians. A lot of civilians. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, fine. I'll check out the tunnels, Frank. Good man. Keep me posted. We want to send that bunker. I'm going to take out that sniper. I don't know if I have a shot on him from where I am, though. Kinda. Yeah, it's him, right? What a hundred. Really, bro? He didn't fucking die. I, I should have looked at the hit marker because it. I thought I was like, oh, I hit him, and then he, he didn't die. It is what it is. Yeah, needed the 50. The only problem is the 50 cal shit would have raised the alarm. I think he was wearing armor. At least the rain stopped. No, 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 oh, fucking I'm sliding across the planet right there.
inside. It's just a bunch of soldiers, Frank. There's nothing here. I'm not convinced. Not yet. Listen, there's a series of tunnels connecting the different buildings. I think you... Yeah, fine. I'll check out the tunnels, Frank. Good man. Keep me posted. Let me see. So all these guys are... Okay, so another soldier. Civilian. Gotta get inside this building here. Gates open, so we can just kind of go get behind everybody, but... I'd have to get onto this mountain and come down the backside if I wanted to do it without being spotted, but... There's a breach right there in that wall. Only guy we'd have to worry about is this big dude right here. And then we can make our yeah, we could we could we could do it. We could do it. We're gonna have to go up and over. This game is laid out a lot like uh, Metal Gear 2, or Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain, like the, with the infiltrating of the bases and shit. Feels like a first person <laughs> Metal Gear. It's too late now, man. Accident happened. All I ate today was an apple. Yeah, you just ate meat. You no, know, you ate that bread. I'm in. And I have a feeling I'm not alone down here. Have a look around and keep your eyes peeled. There's probably cameras down there. Hacked our camera system. Need to get this guy. Oh, 
Once we take care of him, we'll be good to check those cameras. Got him. Let's get on these cameras real quick. He was the only one patrolling this AO, so... <laughs> Whoop, I, I meant to change cameras, not get out. similar gear to what we saw in Kazori. They must be part of the same group. Try to gather some concrete proof. I'm already downloading the footage. That'll do nicely. Get out of there as soon as you're done. There it is, chat. Wait, what? Did they just lock it down? We gotta find another way out. Ah, the tunnel gate's just closed right in front of my eyes. Shit. They must know you're there. Any suggestions? A tunnel network like this must have some sort of ventilation system. Maybe you can use that. Sure. We were not ready for that. <laughs> Those guys pushed us with a fucking speed and intensity, fury and vengeance, dude. Wayne, what's going on? If I start talking to myself, I'll know I've lost it. George with the super chat, man. How you doing? Happy International Women's Day. There it is, dude. I hope you're having a good day, brother. Frank, looking over some security camp footage. These men are wearing similar gear to what we saw in Missouri. They must be part of the same group. We'll try to gather some concrete proof. I'm already downloading the footage. That'll be nice. It's just closed right in front of my eyes. Shit. They must know you're there. Any suggestions? A tunnel network like this must have some sort of ventilation system. Maybe you can use that. Worth a shot. Sibby. Right, we're going loud, Chad. There's really not much we could do about it. So I have to play this safe. The dude, dude's armor is fucking insane. Where's their rifles? I was gonna try to grab one of their weapons.
You better not be fucking playing with me because I'll drop every We're single one out. of you. We're not a threat. Yeah. That's what they all say until they're armed and a threat. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Kill me. Bro, where's this ventilation? We're not a threat. We are these? Don't shoot us. I don't want to. I have no weapon. Please. We are surrender. Don't shoot us. I know nothing. Don't kill oh, me. It's marked over here, obviously. Like an idiot. know how they knew I was here dude what if we just go on a scientist killing spree I don't know that I would probably get yelled at dude <laughs> Outside the base. Am I looking forward to the weekend, Wayne? I, if I'm if I'm honest with you, man, because of the nature of what I do, uh, there is zero difference for me personally between a a Saturday and a Wednesday. Uh, because I don't work work like a Monday through Friday. Every day is a weekend for me, for the most part. Every day is a weekday. But yeah, I don't really, I don't really see a difference between the days. The one thing I do enjoy about the weekends, like the actual traditional weekend, is my kids are home, so I get to see them um, a bit more. But outside of that, inherently, there really isn't much difference between uh, a weekday and my weekend, because I'm streaming no matter what. <laughs> How far away from the tunnels do we got to get? Oh, wait, there was a mission marker I had to go to? You stupid son of a bitch. Uh, no, no emotions, man. I couldn't afford to take off two days every week. You got to remember, every day I don't stream, I don't get paid at all. Um, like, at all. And the thing about YouTube, it's all based off algorithms. So if I stop streaming for, let's say, two days, my channel takes a hit. Um, the only reason why I'm able to be full-time is because of the tempo in which I stream. Um generates just enough income for me to make it but yeah i don't i don't get paid time off you know what i mean so if i take a day off i just don't get paid for that day and i take the hit analytically uh because youtube's like a it's like a it, it, I, don't, I don't know it's hard to explain pretty much if you're not putting out content um youtube just kind of all right pushes you to side and moves to somebody else who is so 
Yeah, you gotta cut, you gotta, it's really, really hard to take time off in this. Ooh, we just got a new weapon. Armazi has an offer. On your knees, North. Down, boy. <laughs> Not a popular decision. I prefer to shoot you now. Your brother is dead. When? How? I killed him. But he was ready to go, John. Happy to go. Torture! You son of a... Do you believe in resurrection, John? What the fuck? You monster! You're a believer, aren't you? That's what I offer. Resurrection? Yeah. You're insane! I am Armazi. Fuck! I really thought... Thank God, Robert! Come. I can explain everything. Your ears only. Turn off your earpiece. Beautiful, isn't it? You were right, John. I was bitter and lonely. I didn't believe in anything. I had nothing but doubts. Questions and doubts. Now, I have certainty. Absolute. Certainty. What did they fucking do to you? They showed me the future, brother. And I want you to join me. 23 Society is everywhere. In your precious church. In your beloved Marine Corps. Right. This legendary covert international death machine is going to change the world. Oh, John. First they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you, and then you win. You may fight us, but we will win. You're quoting fucking Gandhi to justify murdering children and drowning their parents in rivers of blood? You're a goddamn terrorist! I am one ghost warrior among many. If only the strong survive, we show the people their strength. What the fuck, Robert? It all sounds incredible, I know. When I was captured, I fought them hard. But no matter how many times I tried to escape, it was as if they could read my mind. And then, then they showed me something. Just hear me out. Special scientific enhancement, cutting edge, unbelievable stuff. That helmet I shot out of your hands? If you held up a donut, I could have shot clean through the middle hole. Yeah, sorry, pal. But no one is that good. You see that hawk up there? No. That's why I was willing to let Robert die in order to be raised up as Armazi. They will enhance your body and mind until you can do anything. We gotta go, boss. Let us raise you up, too. Resurrection as one of us, John. Boss, we gotta go now! Come with me! Believe! Now! Bird is leaving! What did they do to you? What crazy shit did they do? I love you, brother! Uh, George, I haven't been over on that channel in a little bit, man. Uh, do I work a job with Crusader? So I'm a full-time YouTuber now. Yeah, I've, I've been doing YouTube full-time for a while now. Um, I, I, I have had plenty of jobs, but yeah, we got to a point where I could afford to do this.
I thought it'll kill me. You did good. He looked me in the eyes. You did what you had to. That's how it works. You just pull this damn trigger, you kill or you get killed. That boy I beat up? He said you die up there. That you'll come back in a coffin like the soldiers on the news. I'll come back. Living and breathing, I promise. A war in Afghanistan is not enough to break apart the North, brothers. You hear me, Rob? I will always be there for you. And now his little brother drinks the Kool-Aid, man. Lost his shit. Robert's gone. What? He's left the region? What happened, John? Robert's dead. He's gone. He's resurrected. Robert's the fucking enemy. Slow down, son. He's a mozzie. Robert is a mozzie. But how? Better soldiering through science. They turned him into a 23 Society super soldier. The sniper who made the impossible shot at the wedding, that was a turbocharged Robert. Wait a minute, Robert? This whole secret society thing is real? Yeah, real as a fucking heart attack. Take a breath. Slow down. Take a breath. Take a breath. I cannot fucking breathe at all. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. 23 Society got him. Did some kind of chemical DNA mind-enhancing shit. Mixed in some high-tech super weapons and made him this... This fucking science experiment. And he's proud of it. Wanted me to join him. We've all heard rumors, but... Says they're everywhere. At the highest levels of government, the military, even the fucking Marines. Says we're surrounded and don't even know it. John, we're all here. We're surrounding you. We've got your back. Lydia's right. This is a problem we can figure out. It's not a problem, Frank. It's a fucking betrayal. It's... <sighs> Treason. Jonathan North. I have an assignment for you regarding your recent exploits at the lair. My man is in contact with Mr. Sims, but he needs to see you in person before he can trust you with it. I'm sending you his location. All right, let's get back to base. Get our gear squared away. <laughs> uh, how do I do a full health insurance to full-time streamer? Uh, so shit's expensive, really, really. But uh, I, I because I'm a disabled veteran, I get um. I get health insurance. Oh, we still have to pay, you know, premiums and or like, you know, like the differences and shit like that. But uh, we gotta pay. yeah, so I get no no dental insurance whatsoever for like my family. I get I get my own, but my family gets none. Uh, so we gotta pay for like yeah, like dental. I we just gotta we just gotta pay for all of it. So we unlocked a new rifle. Yeah, this right here, the Herstal. Looks like an M4. Let me see, can I suppress it? Yes, we can. <clears throat> so we get that bad boy suppressed. We got a flashlight on it. Uh, nice. So we can get some optics. There we go, Chad. Now we got a proper rifle. Proper rifle. Our gear's looking good. Let's go ahead and repair this. Hell yeah. So this is our new bad... Look at this. This is nice, Chet. Alright. Let's see what we got going here. Oh, did I... Oh, magazine. Let me, let me see if there was a, an extended mag. I didn't even check the magazine attachment. No, nah, it's only got the one. They do have a drum mag, though, that you can put on this... area. <laughs> that's the That's the rifle from State of Decay. All right, 
right, so... I gotta meet up with this guy. Where the hell is the side quest? So we got a target here we could take out. Um, and where is the side quest marker? I don't see it anywhere. Up oh, there it is. Okay, so I want to actually go hit this target here really quick. Tanya. And we gotta kill another another woman. At least she's not old though. She's 39. So she's not classified as a grand granny, so we're good. That other lady was a little on the other side. With the super chat, uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, you did your bit for the guy in the country of the vet, uh, especially to say we deserve it. I appreciate that, man. Seriously, dude. Whoa, there. I had to test out the rigidity of the fence. It didn't, it didn't hold up, chat. It didn't hold up. Scout this area. Okay, obviously she's gonna be in here. She doesn't look like she has much to oh, there we go. We got somebody. Got a little bit of security. Got a window here. Can't see her through it. Let's see if we rotate. Brian, you did you bit for God and country. As a vet, especially disabled, you deserve and have earned free health insurance. 100%. No, I mean, I, I do I do have a lot of appreciation, you know, being a guy who served in the military for 13 years and, you know, being with so many vets. I know a lot of you guys, too, uh, that served. Uh, obviously, I do feel like things could be better for veterans, um, for sure. But I do appreciate the strides they've been making to make things better, you know, especially if you look at, you know, veteran benefits in the 90s compared to what guys got now, it's it's night and day, you know what I mean? Um, so I do appreciate the stuff that they have done for us. This is a lot better than what the fuck it used to be, I'll tell you that. All right, so I got no eyes, chat. No eyes at all. So maybe we can get around the backside here. This target's definitely forcing me to get all up close and personal.
good. George, thank you for the five gifted, brother. I really appreciate it, man. Everybody receives one of those memberships. Welcome to the fam. Uh, yeah, uh, so um, for people who want to donate to the channel, which you guys remember does not is not mandatory whatsoever. Um, but people who do want do want to do it and uh, want to not have the thirty percent. I have a PayPal link uh, for Streamlabs or Streamlabs link. Um, oh, yeah, the way if you just posted it right there. Um, I don't promote that type of stuff or anything like that. It kind of, I, I, I don't think I've ever really, I don't ever mention it unless somebody asks. Because, uh, you know, that's not what it's all about. Um, I try to tell you guys all the time, you know, the fact that you guys are even here is all I can ever ask for. Um, and I feel like if I start, like, preaching that stuff, it, it, does, it just doesn't come off right for me. It doesn't feel right to talk about. Uh, so I just don't. I just don't talk about it. Charge the drone. The drone auto charges um, DE when you uh, when you bring it back. It slowly builds the battery back up. All right, so we're gonna sleep, head out in the morning. Uh, no emotions. I appreciate. It. I know. I got. I got. I do got merch, guys. But uh, again, it's one of those things. I always. Uh, I just don't like pushing like financial stuff because I know how the world is. I know how rough things are right now for people. Um, and even if it's something as innocent as like, hey, guys, you know, I put out a sweater like it, 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 I don't know. To me, it just comes off like I'm begging you guys for money. So I just don't do it. Huh? Yeah. You know, I'm like pushing you. I'm like, oh, you know, like and then I just don't I just don't like it. All right, brother, tell me, tell me what the mission is. I have asked Frank Sims to authorize the destruction of the old base known as the Lair. He said you would be the one to talk to. Can I count on you with this? Okay. The objective is simple. Blow up the armory to weaken the Separatists. We've got our man in the base. Dr. Abram Arziani's waiting for you in the field hospital. Oh, and John, try not to catch anybody's attention before you talk to the doctor. They spot you nearby the facility. They'll raise the alarm. We're also gonna need some C4, so take it with you. All right, so we'll head back. Uh, I don't even know if I have C4. Yeah, we have to, obviously. Chris, with the Super Tam, man, how much is Sons of the Forest? And uh, can you co-op pretty easy? Uh, so I believe Sons of the Forest is a thirty-dollar game, thirty or forty. Uh, don't I, I don't know. Somebody in the chat will probably clear that up. And. Um, I've never played it multiplayer, so I could not tell you how easy it is, but from what I've heard, it does not seem very hard to play with other people. So it is 30? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's swap out these with some C4 plastic explosives. Okay, so we got C4. Let's rock and roll, guys. But Chris, again, thank you so much. <laughs> some cowboy hats. <laughs> I don't, that would that would have to be some exclusive stuff. Like one, I would have to like buy two cowboy hats and like customize them myself and sell them or like like sell them personally for like. Things like that. All right, so we're gonna go. We're just gonna drive over there. I don't have a fast travel point. Be careful with the C4. Really, Lee? Really?
That was my first ever, well, I can't say my first ever. I probably had more mishaps with C4 in video games. Uh, so, so far, Ace, I, have, I haven't seen patrolling soldiers, like driving down the roads and stuff. Um, seems like they are. Brian, how much is Sons of the Forest and can you co-op pretty easily? Love that game. I love it too, man. Nah, um, but I haven't seen any of them just like driving around. Okay, so this is that same base we snuck in earlier. Um, so we'll go the same path that we did before. See, the way this mission is, like, the mission, you know, it really does, like, resonate with Metal Gear, uh, Phantom Pain. I'm getting close. Good. Arciati's waiting in the field hospital. Check on your map. Okay, so this field hospital looks like it's on the... It's on the other side of the compound, the comp side we didn't infiltrate. So we'll do this. So we'll get the drone up in the air. Okay, we got a breach in the wall back here. That's our... Entry point. Lee with the super chat. The C4 repair fund, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I still can't believe that shit happened, dude. I was so confident in that th C4 throw, too. I thought, like, it was going to be epic. That was close. Just gonna follow the perimeter here. Uh, good at, I, I wouldn't say I'm good at monitoring chat. No, oh, man, I, I drop the ball a lot when it comes to uh, to communicate with you guys. I got, I miss super chats all the time. I miss, I miss stuff all the time, man. I try. It is super hard to do. And, you know, I, I, I always do hope that you know people understand. Um, how hard it really is, but I definitely wouldn't say I'm good at it. And um, I think the reason why I'm even half decent at it is because it was something I truly wanted. I wanted to make sure that I communicated with my community. That was like what I've always wanted, you know what I mean? So it was something I truly, truly was passionate about. So I, I tried my best to, to read the chat. So we just gotta scan for snipers. C4 for... repair fund. Love your content, Brian. So we know that in that night out, the hospital. There was a sniper up on that platform here. I don't see him, so I think we're good. There's our guy we gotta talk to. Chills underscore up underscore Gaia donated $40. Being bedridden 80% of the because of my disability, your playlist saves my head every day from going to dark places, so thank you. Hey, Chills. First of all, thank you so much, man, for that donation, bro. That is absolutely huge. And uh, I say this all the time. The fact that I can be here for you, man, because I've been there, dude. I'm, and I know how important it is to have something there that kind of keep you going and, you know, it, so, for the fact that I am that for you, that means the world to me, dude, and I'm so glad. We're all happy to have you here, and thank you so much for showing. I just had to shoot right over that dude's fucking shoulder, man. That was close. Shit. Shut the fuck up, lady. Don't 
shoot me. I'm going to shoot you if you don't shut up. Leave us alone, please. We know nothing. No, 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 no. Shit, it's one of ours. Locate and neutralize the enemy. Casualty. Who's there? Ah, it's you. What took you so long? Let's get to the point. On, I need access to the tunnels, Doctor. Oh, yes. Well, you need to access a computer that can unlock the gates. And then, um, well, I think that's it. You're set from there. We never met, right? So we gotta hack the computer to open the gate. What the hell was that? Oh. No, oh, these are civilians. See this guy's patrol pattern here, but it's not a pattern whatsoever. Should have did this at night, man. Fuck, dude, I almost splashed your shit, dude. I don't want to fight. I have no weapon, please. DVS, go. Thank you for the five gifted. Now you inspired me to join the army as an 11 Bravo when I turn 17 next October. Uh, hey, Jason, first of all, thank you so much, brother, for being here. Um, and man, I, that's some courage right there, you know, to join. Now, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, though, man. Because you got a specific reason why you want to be 11 Bravo and not go into something nice and technical. Not that there's anything wrong with the infantry, man. Like, I tell you right now, like, 
I learned a lot, but uh, I don't think there's a single infantry man in this world who really did that shit that will sit here and look you in the eyes and tell you they wouldn't do it differently. Like, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would definitely have picked a technical job, man. Something that would have benefited me when I got out. Hmm. Well, there's the free C4. We didn't even have to bring our own. And shelled him with the five gifted. <laughs> Thank you, man. You guys are home. awesome. Roger. Move on to the armory. I really appreciate the love. Everybody's received one of these memberships. Welcome to the fam. Again, welcome to the fam. But nah, I mean, like I said, there's, um... The infantry is cool and stuff like that. Like, you'll, you'll gain a bunch of good skills, but... Uh, the issue, the main problem with I have it, with I have with it, which you know I was not told back when I was coming up by you know senior NCOs, p recruiters, is like, what are you gonna do unless you plan on that being your whole life? You know what I mean? Like if, if you, that's just what you want your life to be. You want to fight for the rest of your life, um, get shot at, shoot at, like then okay, I can see it fitting you. But um, if you ever want to live a normal life or have a normal job, a, a well-paying job. Um, it just doesn't translate very well. And then it's like all the jobs that do pertain to what you know are either A, you're gonna be a fucking mercenary, you're gonna be a contractor, you're gonna have to train people to, like, like it's always gonna just be that. Like that's all your life's gonna be. And uh, for me, man, I, after three tours, I was over it. Um, I was definitely over fighting. You know, I kind of wanted to just relax and spend time with my kids and not have to worry about getting my, my shit peeled back. <laughs> yeah, so after, that that's the mainly the thing, is after a life of infantry in the military, you get out and you can be a cop, be a security guard, you can go work construction, you know what I mean? There's, but there's no tech, like, technical jobs in the military is where it's at, you know what I mean? You go, you get into something like... Uh, engineering, some kind of engineering job, or fucking, you know, a anything, any, even like oh, those mechanic jobs, getting a helicopter, aviation, um, you know, things that are gonna progress. Any IT stuff, computer things. When you get out the military, you're gonna be able to land a six-figure job. You know what I mean? Because of your skills and experience. Uh, do I think my military experience? No, uh, real life military like tactics don't really translate well to video games, just because of you know aiming is completely different in video games. What works in a video game doesn't really work in in real life because you're fighting programmed computers that don't fear things like like real humans do. They don't take cover or move like real humans. So a lot of uh, the stuff you learn in real life does not translate to video games whatsoever. Maybe some of the tactics, you know, that you might go about doing, but for the most part, yeah, it's non-factor. There's infantry guys out there that... Oh. It's gonna bring somebody over here to check that camera. There's infantry guys out there that will absolutely whip you in a real-life firefight that couldn't play a video game to save their damn life. <laughs> And vice versa, you know, there's guys out there that absolutely school you in video games, in a shooting game. You bring them out to a range, they can't even hit the fucking paper, you know? It's in World War II, he died on D-Day. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, Jason, and that's the thing, man. Unless you have a specific reason why you want to be infantry, I, I always tell people, do something else, man. It's not worth it. Like, yeah, it's a rah-rah, you know, fucking tip of the spear, all that bullshit. But uh, none of that shit matters when you get out. All right, all First that, one planted. Got it. All that boasting and, and chest beating doesn't mean shit. 
you know, and none, nobody cares either. You know what I mean? Like when you get out the military, nobody cares that you could shoot somebody from fucking 600 million meters away. Like it, it all means nothing, dude. It all means nothing. Let's hack the computers. Damn, these civilians got to clear out, dude. We're about to drop C. We're about to blow this place. Uh, so Sheldon, the, the games that they use, the quote-unquote games that they use to train people in the military, we had those. Um, but they're not video games like mouse and keyboard. They're simulators, and and what it is, it's 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 kind of like you see, it's you you stand in a big room. You got a rifle that has like lasers and and shit on it, and it, it's just like uh, one of those things. So like people will pop up or sit, sit, but none of that shit really does anything, dude. Like those simulators, they're fun, but they're not practical. Like that's not how real life plays out. I promise you, man. There's never been a single situation that I've seen in one of those simulators that works well for a combat situation. It's just not real, true to life. I know nothing. Don't kill me. Um, but they, they, they do have some range simulators, which are quite nice, where you can literally go to the rifle range, but it's all fake. Like, you lay on sandbags, and it's just a computer screen. Um, and, you know, you, you just shoot with a laser and stuff. And, it, yeah, it's... Uh, that, that, that program is pretty cool, because you ain't got to go out in the range and actually s sit in the suck, but... All charges set. Copy. Withdraw to a safe distance and detonate C4. But you know, I would rather I'd rather people throw on some fucking miles gear and, and run out and do that than you know any of those computer programs. Um or just run around with blanks, you know. I, shit, I'd rather have my guys just run around going bang bang than any of those um computer pro programs kill houses with sim rounds. You know, all that type of stuff is is legit, but yeah, those computer programs are they're all right. I'm not saying they're pointless, but definitely not that not that great in my opinion. Ace, thank you so much for the super chat. Enough. Now blow it up. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. I want to I want to make sure that I'm somewhere where I can egress quickly. Clack. Egress. Now that's one of the things about combat is you, the you can train the muscle memory. Um, you can you can you can sit there and do reps and reps and reps and reps and um good job john 23 society won't be using that particular sandbox again lots of expensive toys gone but enough to make it worthwhile oh great let me guess we need to plug more rat holes john plug the holes and choke off their operations we're not done yet yeah yeah i'm on it out easy enough um but a lot of you guys, you know, that, that muscle memory that you build up doing training and stuff like that, it really does help because, you know, you get into a firefight and a lot of times your body just reacts. Like, your body gets hit, he goes down, you just react. You don't, you don't think about it because if you had to take time and think about what to do next, most of the time it's going to be too late or you're just going to get your shit, like, rocked, you know what I mean? So um, you do want to build up that muscle memory on how to, you know, but... It's it's one of those things. You could always tell the green guys, guys who are just green as fuck. This is their first deployment. They've never been shot at for real. Because when you get into a real firefight, no matter how much training you have, it is a it's still a learning process. Like you learn, like you can train all your life. You know what I mean? But it's still 
when you, when you actually get shot at, you know what I mean, and your your buddy's lives are on the line, it, it just hits way different. You know what I mean? It's a completely different environment. Um, once that adrenaline's flowing in your body, your body just does weird things. Um, get dizzy, you puke. Like it's just you. You don't know how you're going to react so you're in those situations. No amount of training can really train you for the real thing. So the best way to get better is the real thing. Like the more firefights you're in, the more you do it, um, that the better you get. But training does build up that muscle memory, that reaction time where you kind of just boom. But it is hard to know how your body is going to react in those situations. I've seen guys just fucking black out. That adrenaline hits their head, man, and they just fucking doop. It's not like they were scared they, or they, they, they chose that. Literally, like your body just, some people react differently to adrenaline and some people pass out. Literally just pass out. Fucking drop right on their fucking face. Um... Okay, so we don't have any other side ops, actually. Bust up in the laptop, see what we got going. <clears throat> oh, George, did you drop a super chat? Bro, you did. The fuck, man? Dude, thank you so much. I see George said he retired, and I'm like, from what? Dropping keys, and then I seen that he he dropped that one, dude. I really appreciate that, dude. Just dropped Sniper Ghost Warrior in the chat. Somebody probably already got it, because that was fucking forever ago. Not nah, George, you've given away so many games, dude. It's absolutely insane. All right, so we got to follow um, her clues for region surrounding the dam to find... Okay. So I wonder if this is... I wonder if this is a new map. find out yep so we got to go to the tunnel so anytime you go to this tunnel that means you're going to a new area for the most part got a lot of VA patients don't know why they tell you to join the military listen um, I feel like the military is a great thing for those people who need that in their life um, like, for instance, for me, growing up, I, I, I grew up in a very poor neighborhood. Um, most people where I'm from barely graduate high school. Uh, a lot of gangs, drugs, uh, and it's a lot of punks, you know, and, th and that's how I was as a kid, you know what I mean? I really didn't have much going for me. So I feel like there are people out there that come from certain walks of life where the military could give you that up, that step up, you know, really elevate you, give you um, discipline, give you good tools in your toolbox. Uh, but I would definitely say there's people in this world that don't need the military, that the military would probably be a downgrade from what you could achieve in life. You know what I mean? So I think it all kind of depends on what your goals are in life, where you want to be. And if the military is something that can help get you to that goal faster um, or more efficient, then I would go for it. But yeah, the military is not for everybody. Um, it's not even the best decision. You know, some people really could probably have a better, like if your job is to become an electrical engineer um, or a doctor, you know what I mean? I wouldn't say joining the military is going to be your, your fast track to that. Not at all.
But yeah, I would always look at, you know, what your goals are in life, like what you want to achieve. Um, or if you don't have goals, the military is a good filler. You know what I mean? If you kind of don't know what the fuck you want to do with yourself, but you want to do something. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely a good placeholder. <laughs> it's definitely a good placeholder. Just make sure you pick a good job. Because, oh, you know, there's some people, I don't know what I want to do. I had to say it. No, you don't. Here we Just are. get to it. So we're, yep, new AO. I'm in no mood. We know Vasilisk was spooked by an American scoping out the quarry. That's you, John. He was freaked out enough to move Flostov to a more secure location. I quote, put him in that old lab where the engineers captured by Krosovich used to walk. Flostov. That precious scientist Massa wants to recruit. I was wondering what the separatists wanted with him, but now. Now I'm practically sure that he's being held by. The I went and put my water down and my finger accidentally nicked the E key when I was trying to hit the D key to turn to the, and I accidentally nicked the E key and he fucking just bailed out the car and died. You look at a keyboard, E and D are quite close together, so. Not as fat fingered it. So for those of you guys that have played these games, all right, played this game specifically, and have played the Contracts games, because I guess the Ghost Warrior Contracts games are like the newer, more advanced versions of this, how much of an uh, 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 an upgrade would you guys say, like on a scale one to ten, from this game to like the Ghost Warrior Contract games? Like are the Contract games on a whole nother level, even like more more than this? Because this shit is amazing and, and like a huge step up, you know, compared to the first two. Uh, sometimes Susan and the Marine Corps said otherwise. Yeah, Doug, they used to do that a lot back in the day. Um, nowadays, not so much. If you sign up for an MOS, you get that MOS for the most part. If not, that MOS just won't even be available. Um, they definitely, they definitely do a way better job than they used to with that shit. All right, let's see what missions we got here. Okay, so we got party crashers. There's a meeting set up um, by Major Kolasovic. Uh, he's doing business with the 23 Society. Take down Lev Tarpish. Uh, pursued war criminal to scare Kolasovic into hiding. Remember not to trigger the alarm and don't kill the mayor. Easy enough. I've got eyes on the mayor. Sneaky rat bastard. He's on his way to meet Lev Trapsh. Trapsh? He's in our deck. Most wanted. Males trailed by Trapsh. Don't want to get in a tangle with them. Best to take Trapsh out and scare Mr. Mayor Rat right back to his village. 
and let the team deal with him there. Good hunting. Out. Uh, Travis, yeah, I've been, my son has a hockey game um, this afternoon, so I had to make sure I started the stream uh, early so I could bring him to that. Guys, here. Mind if I ask you something? Um, sure. What's up? If you could spend a single night with any woman, who would? Hillary Clinton. Maybe you don't understand. Did he say Hillary Clinton? Any woman. No, no. I have the power. Jesus fucking Christ, you too. There was this one girl in Kazori, Tashka. Smoking piece of ass. Her name was Natasha, but all the boys with the heart for her called her Tashka. What happened to her? She left before the war. Moved to Tbilisi to study art history or some shit like that. Well, I had to clear this area before I can do it. They want me to clear the whole area. We'll make it. We'll make do. Now we're good, guys. Damn, I should have ranged it. Over. <clears throat> Confirmed. Wait for my signal. So they got Damn shit. A mortar. Better distract the guards before taking a shot. Target's found. He's got company of elves. It's getting awfully crowded down there. We don't need civilian casualties here. Pull the trigger only when you have a clear line of sight. You can do that, right? 
So 170, so we'll range out to... We'll range out to 200 to name. Center mass. So we can't get a clean shot on him. With that wind right now, we're one click over. Hmm. Won't risk it. Fuck, man. This is a risky shot, chat. I wonder if we can create a distraction with something like an explosion. I don't think... I do have those luring rounds, but right, we're just going to have to That was a hell of a shot, Jet. It wasn't it wasn't super far, but uh Yeah, we had to wait for like that split second for him to bend down to put a fucking bullet over the back of his head, dude. Or uh, the the Get back the, to me, John. The room for air was, was too small. Our margin for error. How so? I'll keep eyes on Mel Klosovich and follow him back to the village. When I can pinpoint his exact location... you let me know. No use wasting time or ammunition. Thanks, Raquel. <laughs> At last. A little politeness goes a long way, Marine. My pleasure. Out. Hello, Mr. North. This is Karigal Meshki. I'm one of Kobo's men. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but the Rotki Lions need your help yet again. I've reached out to Miss Chojadza. She wanted you to meet me in person before you begin your mission. You should have my location now. Shark dude, thank you for the super chat. How you doing today? All right, so he's right actually over here. Um, honestly, it'd probably be closer if I just go on foot, cut across the woods instead of driving the, the damn roads. Hold on one sec, guys.
Casper, what's going on? How you doing? Mr. North, our people were captured. Can you help them get their freedom back? Lydia should know everything you need. Good news is you pretty much crippled separatist smuggling operations. Bad news is Rodky Lions got tagged watching alternative transport routes. Who do they have? Henri and Imeda, two of Cobra's most trusted compatriots. Ah, fuck. Want me to get them? Sending you the details now. They're held in two different outposts. So, I'll just give them double the trouble. Out. Okay, so first outpost is right up here. Can I drive this car? No. Somebody's in it. Uh, my vehicle's actually quite far away. What I can do is we'll go here, we'll get a vehicle, and we'll drive down the road. This game reminds you of Just Cause. I've never played Just Cause. I think that's that parachute uh, game, right? Where uh, I think I had a friend. I, either I, I, I remember watching somebody play that before, and they were like tethering shit with like like a like a grapple gun, and there was like a parachute. That's all I remember. Get in a position here. A lot of targets. Got the sniper on the roof there, we can take care of. Obviously, our target's probably gonna be in that central house. So, we're here for rescue, not elimination. Fifty. A little bit of wind.
See if I can locate the target from here. It's probably one of these buildings over here. What was that? Who's that? They hear that. Oh shit, it's one of ours. Enemy must be nearby. Search the perimeter.
Checkpoint is alarmed. If you don't clear the way, I won't be able to get out. Really, dude? <laughs> so we had to kill everybody anyways. Thank you. I got him. Thank you, John. Now find the other one. I went well enough. I mean, we, we, I don't know how I got, they got all alerted. Um, I, the, everybody seemed to be pretty far away when I took that one shot on that guy. Uh, so I don't know really what happened there. See what we can see from here. Tell if there's somebody behind this tree in there. Nope, nobody. We'll wait for these guys to spread out a little bit and we'll start taking them. Oh, fuck. 
Seriously? Sniper. Oh, where the fuck is he? Dude, it was hard to spot, man. Thank you. God bless you. Gotcha. Lydia, I've got them both. Great job. I'll see that they're taken to a safe location. We're all in your debt. We're on pretty well, guys. In a hoodie chest, cold as fuck in this office. He managed to secure a map before their capture. Smuggling routes, weapon depots, secure holding areas. The whole shebang? Not quite. Three other maps out there. Put all of them together and we know the separatist routes and movements. So where's the rest of the collection? Still working that out. I'll get back to you when we have more intel. Okay, Lydia. I'm ready when you are. All right, let me see. So we'll head back to our base camp. Um, we also got three targets that we could hit up north there and one here. I'm going to go top off. I'm going to go grab a hoodie real quick, guys. Give me one sec.
All right. Cold as hell in this damn office, Chet. Literally dying. Ugh. It was cold as hell. All right, let me see. Um, Let's top off all our crud. That was that shotgun that we got, yeah. So it says here the NVGs. Okay, no, no, never mind. Never mind. All right, ammo-wise, we're still looking good. Our armor's a little dinged up, but no nothing crazy. Been doing business with separatists. Talks a big game. Ooh, okay. Interrogation, right baby. Top, John. Right where we want him. Go get him. But not too rough. Just a little rough. We need him alive and in good condition. Then leave it to me to make him talk. Capture Klosovich. Interrogate him. Get to Flostov and 23 Society hideout. Yeah, I got it. Out. Sounds easy to me. Alyssa from Jeremy, how you doing? So it's optional not to raise the alarm, so we don't have to be super secret squirrel, but... So maybe he's gonna be in probably the central house here. Got a sniper up there. Deal with that sniper first. One seventy. A lot of wind right now. Oh, you gotta remember no motion. I Anything under like 300, man, you really don't even have to dope to. That's why I never understood games like this. 
like shooting from 50, 100, 200, like you don't really, you don't have to make adjustments for that. The bullet's moving so fast that it, there's no bullet drop until it really out past 300 is where you'll see the bullet actually drop. So, um, yeah, you could just, that's why most of our rifles in the military are just, they're, they're set at 300 and you only have to make adjustments if you're shooting over 300 because from 300 and below, you just aim b with the same aim point. You don't have to really adjust for it. Even at, at, at uh, like 150, you're not even worried about wind, dude. Like the, the it's too short of a distance. The bullets gonna be moving so fast, unless it's a motherfucking hurricane. Like at such close ranges, it's really not gonna affect the bullet all that much. They were ready for it. Oh, yeah, the signs here probably say minefield. Yep. I try to be slick. Don't play this fucking game chat with dogs. Games over are always trying to get me, dude.
position we could fight from here. I shot that dude in his in his helmet. Those uh. I have to find the key. It's probably on that dude here. Oh, the other guy. Oh, did I get the key? I thought it was gonna be on this guy. Yeah, those are Mozzie dudes. The armor's no joke. Raquel, where are you? Why am I here? What do you want from me? Come on, Mikhail. You're not that stupid, are you? You're fucking kissing a lot of 23S ass. Are you satisfied? You're going to tell us everything you know. I, I don't know anything. I was just a runner. I gave them guns and ammo. Sometimes I, I provided that scary-looking prick Vasilisk with companions. But that's it. You're a fucking terrible actor, Klosovich. Don't piss me off. Maybe, maybe. I heard something about some American engineers who were abducted. American engineers? Yes, non-military. They were uh, uh, repairing a dam or something, but that's all I know, I swear. Flosto. Rings a bell, doesn't it? Where is he? I I've never heard of anybody named Flostov. Fuck, it fucking hurts. Stop. Flostov, Dr. Sergei Flostov. Raquel. I don't fucking know who that is. I don't fucking know who that is. I swear to God, please! Fucking liar! Shine! Stand down! Now! You know he's lying! I swear to you that I'm not lying! I cannot believe this. You can deal with this fucking mess yourself. Meet me in the next room when you're done. I don't care what you do, so long as you keep your bitch at bay. Start telling me everything you know about the 23 Society, or I'm gonna bring her back in here. No, 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 okay, okay. I'll tell you what I know, but... Please, take this shit out of me. What the fuck was that? He wasn't going to talk without the proper motivation. Don't give me your bullshit about motivation. You knew damn well what you were doing. Did it not work? You do not abuse prisoners. You fucking know that. Did. It. Not. Work. A group of engineers, Americans, were taken by separatist forces not far from here. We find them, we find our way directly to 23S. That easy? That easy. See? It all worked out. She's a fucking savage, dude. Straight up savage.
That's not that bad. He seems pretty mean, but not not the kind of dog I would try to pet. Army gal, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah, we had we had an alert. It is. You know the separatists pretty well by now, and I have an excellent understanding. Does abducting a group of civil engineers seem like a high priority separatist goal? No. No. If the separatists were involved at all, my guess is they were just a delivery service, kidnapped to order, perhaps for the Twenty Three Society. Yeah, separatists blow shit up, not build shit. So what is Twenty Three Society building in addition to super soldiers? Fuck if I know. The 23 Society is key to the missing engineers. Keep your eyes open, John. I think we are getting close to what's really at stake. And damn if it doesn't keep leading back to Robert. Out. Are we gonna have to snipe our own brother, dude? That is... John, I sent Lydia further into not where it's at, operations. dude. You bought one of each commander deck? Yeah, I haven't even seen the commander decks yet, army girl. <clears throat> Am I gonna do Dragon Dogma 2 character creation? Oh, Chuck, we'll be playing Dragon Dogma 2 when it first drops. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be playing it full playthrough, hopefully, as long as, you know, um, the community's enjoying the game. We'll definitely be playing it. Nexus with the Super Chat. Dalali Lule Lo. Kaki Kukeko. Sashi Suse So. Nexus, how you doing today? All right, let me see here. Um, long time watcher, don't get the opportunity to watch live. Uh, will mostly watch you after stream. Well, zombie, welcome. I appreciate you being here. All right, so we got a new knife. I don't know if the knives really matter. I think it might just be a... Um, yeah, like a skin. Unless they have different kill animations, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, we got the heavy armor now. We got the heavy armor now. And... The Rook SS-97. Well, at least it's not the Lali Lulalo. No, that's all good. And then for this, let me see. Oh, we did unlock the drum. Why not? <laughs> Why not, dude? We are going to have to buy more ammo, though. Hundred and twenty rounds. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. All right, so yeah, we got a couple uh, another story mission coming up. Uh, we just unlocked a new side mission to the Opium Wars here. So we got two um, things that we got to do. We're in Act Three. I think there's only one more act though after this. Yeah, Act Four. Um, so yeah, we got a few more missions that we got to knock out here. Um, but we'll be saving that. I'm going to be ending this a little early, guys, because um, my son has a hockey game in literally an hour, and i got to make sure that I get him geared up, and i got to grab something to eat before um, before the game. So uh, I really do appreciate you guys. Uh, Chuck says the character creator released. Oh, and I'll just wait till the real game comes out, Chuck, and then I'll create a character, and uh, we'll be doing that. 
So yeah, I'm gonna be going and doing that, and then uh, I'll be back later on tonight, hopefully, uh, with the stream. I don't my my throat's been messed up for the past few days. I've kept I constantly felt like crap for like like feverish and shit for like the past like three days. Shit, I've been roughing it, but I might uh, go to like urgent care see if I got like strep or anything. Cause I know that shit doesn't go away unless you get like antibiotics. And we went to trade night. I went to trade night with my kids, and but last time we went to trade night, my wife got COVID. So, um. Uh, I'm, I might pop in urgent care. I don't know. So it, my start times, I'm not exactly sure what the hell I'm going to be doing. I got to kind of go see when they have an opening and, and we'll go from there, guys. But uh, thank you again. I really appreciate all the love and support. I'm having a blast playing this game. I appreciate you guys for coming and hanging out, watching it. Um, if I don't see you guys later on tonight, you have a great rest of your day and night. And uh, for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.